Hey everybody, it's Trevor here with the channel where every day is range day and this week we're not looking at me, we're taking a look at these slide grips from Talon Grips. Let's check it out. Alright guys, we've talked about Talon grips before here on the channel and you can see I have a set of the actual pistol grip tape here on the trusty Glock 34, which is clear. Talon grips were first known for these sort of laser cut stick on pistol grips that I have on my Glock 34 here and also on my Glock 19. Chandler has them on some of his guns, we're a big fan of them here on the channel. And they have a new product that just recently came out, which are the slide grips. Talon Grips also recently acquired a company known as Arachna Grips, which I feel like these kind of came from because they sort of look like a spider here. And it's more or less their same grippy material that they use in their pistol grips, but this time it's designed to fit on the rear serrations of a pistol grip so that when you are racking the weapon, you have a bit more grip, similar to how the pistol grip does. Now, most factory handguns these days have some sort of rear serrations on the weapon so that they help in racking the slide, as you can see there. But it isn't the most, I don't know, grippy of material. This is a pretty smooth finish here on the Glock 34. And it's pretty easy to see how this could get a little slippery if it's wet or your hands are sweaty or muddy or something like that. And these talon grips here are specifically designed to fit onto your pistol slide serrations and give you just a little bit more grip when you are racking the weapon. They only make them in their granulate material that you can see here, none of the pro or the rubberized material. This is more akin to skateboard tape or about 120 grip sandpaper or something like that. This particular version of the slide serration grips is for the MOS version of Glocks with the modular optics plate that you can see here. And if you have a Glock that doesn't have the MOS system and just the normal slide, you would be getting a different product. But this one will fit all the nine millimeter double stack Glocks with the MOS system. And I guess you could put it on a non-MOS model, but they have a separate one, that'd be a lot better. Something else to note before we get in actually installing this is that if you have the optic on here, this middle piece that you can see with the T on it, you will not be installing because, believe it or not, there'll be an optic sitting there. It'll still fit on the serrations pretty well, I think. But just a side note, if you have an optic on here, you will not be using that middle piece, and you'll see where that could uh, interfere with some fit here in a minute. Now, what you get in the little envelope here, of course, you will receive the slide tape that you can see here, the actual grip itself. Then it also comes with an alcohol wipe to be used with cleaning, this super sweet sticker, which everybody appreciates, and a set of instructions. They're pretty good instructions. They tell you a bit about what to do, how to place things, and what order in which to do everything. But hey, that's what I'm here for, so let's get into it. The first thing, of course, whenever you're working with a firearm for any reason, be it cleaning or what have you, is to make sure it is clear. Up here, nothing in the chamber, nothing like that. And for the talon grip specifically, it says to field strip your weapon. So we're going to do that with the Glock. You do have to pull the trigger to do so, which is why it's super, super important to make sure it's clear. But we are, so we're separating the firearm frame from the actual slide. Pop the spring out here just so we have less stuff in the way. We might as well take the barrel out too so we don't have anything falling around. And now we have just the slide to work with. Anyways, going forward with just the slide, the most definitely not the firearm component of the gun. The first thing to do is to take your alcohol wipe and wipe down the slide. If your weapon's particularly dirty or has a lot of gunk and dirt on it like mine did before this video, it's probably a good idea to give it a rough cleaning with a brush beforehand because this little alcohol swab really isn't meant for much else. So it's really important to just wipe this off, get any kind of grease or other gunk off of here. And since this is going in the serrations, make sure you get them in particular. So now that we're letting that dry real quick, we do have a three-piece setup here that is unique to the MOS version. You can see there's these really thin strips of material here that we're just gonna kinda break off. It tells you to do this specifically in the instructions. You just don't need them. So this is one of the slide serration pieces. There's the other one right there. And then this is the middle piece that will be centered on the MOS plate. Of course, if you have an optic on here, this is the particular piece that you will not be using. So now we have our three pieces separated and our fresh clean slide. Now all there is to do it is to stick them on here. And the most important piece to start with is the middle talon piece. And we're just gonna stick this right on the pistol slide, squaring it up against the rear sights. I'm gonna line it up so that the top piece just barely lines up with the bottom of these screws. So I can take the plate out if I were to put an optic on here. Again, if you have an optic, you won't be putting this piece on. You just want to square it up against the back sights with the bottom of the T facing the sights like I have it here. When you think you have it nice, just give it a light tap so it holds it in place. 
You don't wanna to press too firm in case you have to reposition, but that is on there pretty good to me. Might wiggle it a little to the side here. You want it kind of centered, sort of like that. If that looks pretty good to you, I think it looks pretty good to me. I'll set that down, give it just a little bit more firm of a press so it doesn't wiggle around while we're doing the rest of the pieces. So that's on there pretty good. I can still get these screws out up front if I need to. If you wanted to push it a little further up, I suppose you can notch this out with an X-Acto knife. But right there, it looks pretty good for me. And again, I guess if you're taking optics on and off of this pistol, just looking at it, how it's sitting right now, it doesn't look like this would interfere with anything too much. Pretty good. Now we're gonna go to the sides. Again, all of Talon Grip's grips are laser cut to fit. So my experience is with the pistol grips, the actual fit has always been impeccable. Just peel this little bit of backing material off, get that out of our way. Let's go right onto the serrations of the firearm. We'll start now lining up here in the bottom. This kind of set it in place and the fit is again phenomenal. It fits right over the serrations just like that. The exact number of serrations, the thickness and all that is pretty top notch. Give it a bit of a firm push. So it stays put for now. Fold the edges back down on the top. Again, we're just pushing it so it stays in place here. We're gonna really heat them up in a little bit. Make sure they stay there, especially the edges. We're gonna do the same thing with the last piece. Basically the same as what we just did. Give it a little firm press so it stays put and we should be good to go from there. You can see the fit is pretty dang good in these serrations like that. It lines up just right with the bottom of the slide, fits in between each serration beautifully, and should be good to cure with a little bit of heat to really set that adhesive in there. Now that I have everything rough fit and I check the alignment, we're just gonna use a little bit of heat from a hairdryer or something I have, or we could just use a heat gun. Just heat this up so it feels like a warm cup of coffee or something like that, and start giving it a real good firm press all over. This is what sets the adhesive in. I'm not gonna make you all listen to that with a hairdryer. So we'll speed through that real quick. Okay, so I got my first round of heat on there and I'm just gonna start pressing real firm all over the tape, making sure to get some good purchase on the edges of this flat piece because I noticed those were a little more apt to peel up. The sections in the serrations themselves should be pretty good, but the top piece is that little loose edge that you might have, you know, some more prone to peeling on. So that's really where I'm gonna focus on some pressing. So that's on there pretty good. I usually like to do my talon grips twice with the heat, so I'm just gonna heat it up again. Now this really is getting nice and toasty. You don't want it too, too hot. This is definitely pretty warm but still good enough to just touch so you're not doing too bad. And it does say not to heat this over whatever 130 degrees Fahrenheit feels like, less than boiling water, that's for sure. So if you have a heat gun, I'd be a little bit more careful. Definitely keep that thing moving. Maybe not even put it on high because you don't want to cook these things and melt them or even damage the adhesive if something like that were to happen. Now I can definitely feel they're a lot more pliable after that last heat really just kind of pressing in there on the serrations, making sure they're in there nice and firm. And that right there should be good to go. And here we can see the final product installed on the slide. Again, the Talon Grip slide serrations in their granulate material. This is the only material they have currently, and it just happens to match what I have on the grip of this actual weapon. And they do fit just as well as any of the other products I've happened to have from Talon Grips. And if you don't have an optic, I could see these being a pretty valuable addition to your slide. I'll have to try taking this plate on and off because it does look like this serrated piece here does touch onto this MOS plate just a little bit. So I'd have to take this off, put on the adapter plate and see how that works. Worst comes to worst, you could either trim this top piece flush off so they only fit in the serrations, or it'll probably fit onto the MOS plate itself. You just have to peel these off. But it's important to note that if you are trying to peel these off and reapply them, heat them up before you do so. It'll loosen the adhesive just a little bit and you won't damage anything. But otherwise they fit on here gloriously and they do have a nice bit of grip here on the slide. 
we'll put this thing back together real quick. And here we have it all back together, the Glock 34, with the recently installed slide grips from Talon Grips. Again, you can see it is the granulate material akin to about skateboard tape or 120 grit sandpaper that I have on the actual grip of the weapon, and has the same laser cut accurate fit and finish that you'd be accustomed to find in their normal pistol grips. It does have a nice boosting grip to the slide here itself, and I could imagine with this becoming wet or sweaty or something like that, that this would definitely help you in racking your weapon. Again, these become a little bit less helpful if you have optics, but perhaps you could put them on the front serrations of a weapon. They don't make them specifically for that, but it wouldn't be too hard to take these, trim them just a little bit and fit them up here. But in the future, I'll probably film an update video where I slap an optic on here, see how these interface with an actual MOS plate instead of just this top cap on the slide and see how that works. Of course, this top piece won't be needed, but these little serration pieces on the sides do touch this plate a little bit, so I'll have to peel those off. If you're doing this on your own, again, I can't mention it enough, make sure you heat this up a little bit before you start peeling it off so you don't damage anything. But even if you do rip or tear them, they're only 10 bucks. Everything from talon grips is usually pretty cheap like that. A full set of pistol grips is, you know, anywhere from 19 to $25 or so, depending on your texture. And these came in right at $9.99 or maybe 10 bucks flat. So they are nice and cheap. Definitely affordable little mod if you're looking for something that adds just a little bit more bite to your serrations. It's definitely not very expensive. Again, it is just an adhesive sort of grip tape material, but in my past experiences, talon grips also tend to last quite a long while. This granulate material that I have on the actual grip of the firearm here, I've had on here for multiple years now. Doesn't seem to be peeling or damaged all that much in any way, and even my concealed carry gun that I have on me every single day only has minor wear in some of the hot spots around here where my thumb's constantly moving around. But even then, it's just a little bit of the texture is kind of worn smoother. There's no peeling or anything that I've noticed from this tape or the adhesive. And that really speaks to the quality of this type of product. I would expect nothing less out of this particular product here. And Talon Grips themselves advertises anywhere from, you know, maybe one to three years or something like that of use for these types of products. And for 10 to 20 bucks, that lifespan isn't bad. And just for full disclosures, Talon Grips did not send this piece to me. I purchased it for myself and it was only 10 bucks or so. We weren't paid for good reviews from them. They probably don't even know he exists, to be honest. But I'm a big fan of their products. I saw this and it interested me. I figured I'd do a quick video on the installation and a couple considerations on the slide grips from Talon Grips. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below. If you have any questions about the video's installation, other questions about slide grips or the actual handgun grips from Talon Grips, please leave them down below in the comments. We have a good bit of experience with using these products and we'd love to answer your questions. And as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel where every day is range day. Thank you for watching.